we're on we're on the air though. I don't have the other. Not yet. Everybody, keep it down. The show's about to go live. No, just get us be loud. Let's break okay, be loud. Let's break all the rules. Let's break all the rules. Let's Not all the rules. Are we live? Not yet. Oh, about to be. That's it. Less than thirty seconds. More than thirty seconds ago. Okay. And feel free to pop those on the air. It's fine. No, please don't do that. Okay. I'm just ah, Ryan. Oh. Ryan, what of an exhausting uh, run we just went on. We did. We ran for four years. I haven't stopped running in four years. This is the first time we've sat down uh, in four years. Literally. Uh, all because the our The rest show was just squats. Yeah, and it may look like, Ryan, that you're sitting down, but actually, like, this whole time, we're just millimeters above the surface. Absolutely. Millimeters. Just our thighs, you cannot... You can't look at this. Look at this. I would I'm pull down my pants, it. but that is apparently I'm not allowed to take off any more of my clothes. No, you're not. No, I've been doing that. Took uh, off your shirt. I've done you that. Took off your pants. I took off my pants. Well, no, James Comey did. Oh, that's right. James well, Comey took off. Anyway, hey guys, long time. Hey, long Callie. time, Callie. Long time, you guys. Well, we got canceled last week. Tic Tac, oh. Tic Tac canceled us. Yikes. Yeah, head of human horse uh, relations. Because we murdered him a bunch of times. Yeah, we Tic Tac did not get uh, did not get really a fair deal. No. Well, it turns out he's immortal and he can hold an immortal <laughs> grudge. So we're done. So we don't give a flaming this week. Uh, I'm still not gonna cuss. Because I have a sense viewers. of pro propriety about this situation. I think it's offensive that HMS would send a horse to fire me. Uh, but that's the situation we live in. Oh yes, and we're popping balloons all hour. Yeah, not all the time. Not regularly, but irregularly, of course. We're popping balloons. We're making noises, we're doing weird stuff. We're living with reckless abandon. Speaking of abandon, we have a band on. We do have a band on Did today. anyone catch what I did just there? I love that. I love you. Speaking of abandon, I love you too. Aww, Callie, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh my god. Oh. But anyway, uh, did you catch that joke? I did, I, I got it. There like, we go. Like abandon and abandon on. Yeah, and I want, if you like at sound. home want to call in and yell at me for making that joke, 713-807-1794. If you want to call in for any reason whatsoever, absolutely, it's yeah. your last chance to do so. Mm -hmm. Seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four. You got stories. You got complaints. You got questions. You got news. You got ooh, good news or bad. We we'll like news. It. We like news around here. We, we will use it. Oh, but I didn't uh, say what got, the band was. Oh, we no, did. You did Is not. it Huey Lewis and the News? No, that would be insane. We have Bernie Pink, who's just as good, if not better. Much better than Huey Lewis. You heard it here full, first, folks. Although, I will say, Huey Lewis is a lot better at flying to Morocco and making a living playing his harmonica. That's true. Which is the thing he did. That's awesome. Yeah, he lived in Morocco just playing harmonica on the streets. Wow. Yeah. Like Huey after, on the like, streets? Like, like after he hit a bit? Uh, no, before. Oh, okay. No, he just flew, he, he scammed his way over to London. Because you could take make a transatlantic flight for free if you just have the envelope or something. Because there's a way to scam it before the internet. Yeah. Before people cared too yeah, much. Yeah, when things people wrote things on paper. Yeah, and then you could just scam your way down to Morocco where you could just earn a living. So he just did that. And um, Did he shake maracas in Morocco? He smoked a lot of weed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yes. I believe that. Is I the believe answer. That. Uh, as, as you can do in Morocco if you um, just want to do that. It's possible. Is it legal? I don't believe it's legal there. It's not. Um, but if you're a tourist, it is. Because, uh, mm. and that's, you know... That's how a lot of things are. Yeah, really though. Tourists get to do whatever they want. Um, so that's bad. And good. I mean, it's just a mess. It's it's life, and really that's what we're here to talk about: life, <laughs> the universe, not everything. There's some things we can't talk about because even though we were fired, we're still going to obey by the rules. Well, you know what? There's like something that. we do need, Absolutely. and that's that? fine literature. Okay, what do we got? We got War and Peace. And I've uh, got War and Peace. Yeah, oh, I, I think I think we've I think we've we've read all of these on here before. Well, I have both, both of those. Callie, I don't know if you've heard this joke I have about War and Peace, but I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. So I got this friend, right? My friend, his name is Warren, and poor Warren, his last name is Pierce. So it sounds like if you say it out loud really fast, War and Peace. It's Warren Pierce, which if you're a jerk is like War and Peace, and so. Freaking college freshmen and other assorted 
asses would walk up to him and like, Warren Pierce? What are you, written by Leo Tolstoy? Oh, and uh, he hated it. Good one. Uh -huh. He hated it. It was the first time it was awful, and the second, the fourth, and fifth thousandth time it was terrible. And, and, and it became an internet meme. Oh, I think we have a phone call. Caller, you're on the air. Houston Media Source. Hi, Houston Media Source. Hi, I just wanted to give my condolences for how much you're struggling through your show. But let's face it, struggling is nothing new to you. Nope, it no. is not, Caller. Not that at all. Is, well, not astute because, I mean, I think anyone can know. I think we said nail on the head on that one. Yeah, like there were a lot of episodes where we just had, we just did not know what the hell we were doing. Remember, remember, that, remember that time we just meowed a bunch on camera for like five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was my favorite because you two just reminded me of my cat Rufus. I Ooh. even like held up my cat to the television because he was like going crazy. Oh, you wouldn't all right. believe. Now, Colin, you bring up an excellent point. Our show, highly recommended for cats. I leave it on for my, my little princess That's at true. home and she adores it. She curls up next to the TV and she cries so loudly that my neighbors can say, oh, show John show must be on because Boss Cat's crying. <laughs> Uh, seven one three eight zero seven one seven nine four. Boss Cat, if you finally figured out how to work the touch top, the touch tone phone I bought you, call in. Call call in and meow at me. Anyway. Okay. Well, this is for Rufus. Meow meow meow. <laughs> Take care, guys. Oh yeah. Thank Thanks you, for calling. Thank you. Bye. Well. It's... So anyway, with the joke. I I I met up with Warren. One day, and I was like, Warren, what are you going to do about this? And he's like, I'm changing my name. Really? I was like, Warren, what are you going to do? What are you going to change your name to? You know, you, your parents would get mad if you change your last name. Uh, and Warren fits you so well. What are you going to do? He's like, it's all right. I got it covered. You're, when, I, when I tell you what, the, what my name's going to be, you're going to be like, oh, wow. That's incredible. It's such a good idea. Okay. And so I asked him, Warren, what's this fabulous name that you've applied for? And he was like, the Brothers Karamazov. The and brothers, like, the brothers Karamazov, and I was like, "One, why, why that name?" And he's like, "Cause not as many people can say Dostoevsky." <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> you know I love crappy cheesy jokes. I just do. They get me every time. And that one got a big laugh on stage. Has gotten big laughs on stage multiple times. I believe that. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna keep rolling with the show. We brought on all our favorites. Uh, that got back to us yeah, in time. Some some cool faces. So our first guest, we these are they they are this is their third time on, but they're all time favorites. Not only because what they do is awesome, because the first time they were on, they threw down immediately in one of our thumb wrestling contests and have offered up the the offered up their desire to do it tonight, which I think means we have to do it. We don't have a cage or anything strange, but we're gonna. Oh, we don't. We don't have the the. the... I built a whole like a limit, a whole steel cage yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. No, it's amazing. Yeah, but I didn't remember to bring that. Oh. I left gosh. early. I went back and got Arthur, but I forgot the cage. We have Arthur. Arthur's here. Arthur yes. will be making an appearance later. But before we get into Arthur, we got to bring on the Rad Toy Collective. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Putting the Beautiful. There we go. We, uh, we didn't have time to set up our set yet, so all the guests are helping us out. It's one of the reasons we have like, They're our family. Like I said, we're popping balloons all hour. We're not doing it at regular intervals. Uh, we're making as much noise as we can. My goal is tonight to create the world's most annoying episode like, hey, of our show. you got the right wow. guy. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. so uh, before we get started our little spiel, there's one thing I did want to say. Oh, yeah? Uh, and that is, um, thank you, okay? You guys uh, were one of the few people that took a chance on giving us a little bit of exposure. Yes. You allowed us to share a screen yes. with you, and we're eternally grateful. I know that this isn't the end, this is the beginning for many great things for you guys, and I look forward to seeing the next uh, stage in your journey, okay? Oh, as long yes. as we get to see it, right? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. you know it. Yeah. Houston is a big family, you know, the, this is this one of the things I love about this city is that, you know, people come together here like they do nowhere else, so I'm looking forward to see what's next for you. Oh, guys. man. Oh, we'll for sure keep you in the loop, because, Anthony, it's like... Whenever someone came on, comes on the show and then comes back on the show, yeah, more come on. it's like all those, we, we, we have a couple of repeats. Yeah. Anytime you repeat, come back on this thing on your own time, that means a lot to us. And when you, you threw down, you participated in our madness and our nonsense. 
And you had a fun time. We embraced the madness, my brother. And that's and why I, I know it. you're like my bro- you're like we're on some level we're brothers. Oh, yeah, sir. In a certain way, because we well. Hey. <laughs> well, we, we think alike hey. and I, I'm they really... say uh, bald men are sexy right you know, hey you know what I'll say this right yeah. now yeah. Yeah. I've had way more sex as a bald man than I ever did with hair I don't think I've ever had sex with hair it might be a factor in the one <laughs> you know what yeah. <laughs> yeah I doing quite well for myself right now thank you good for you yeah so. yeah it's yeah. great news yeah <laughs> oh, <God. Okay>. Anyway, <laughs> let's not roll it. Let's talk about freaking cosplay because we have cosplay in the building so and we cool. have to talk about cosplay. So cool. Miss uh, Mad Quinn is gracing us today with her uh, Mad Black Quinn Widow cosplay. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, really, now, thank you. you didn't get a chance to meet Mad Quinn. No, I didn't. Oh, oh man. Hi. You two need to talk. <laughs> Kelly. For sure. Yes, For definitely. Sure. We'll, yes. we'll catch up. See? See? Yeah. Already. So, so, like. So what's going on is we got a uh, Comic Palooza coming up at the end of May, right? Yes. Comic Palooza is singularly one of the biggest events that's thrown in the city of Houston, and it's uh, one of those things that uh, reaches out to the direction that we're going, and that's the fringe, right? Mm-hmm. So you have a lot of people that uh, are able to display their talents and put their art on display, uh, like and get exposure like they can nowhere else in this city because they have so many people collectively in the same place, right? Mm. Uh, us specifically, we are doing the only toy panel at Comic Palooza this year. Uh, we're going to be there on Friday uh, about noonish, I think it's something like that. Yeah. But that's going to be a day that they have, you know, that's the first day of panels. You get a lot of discussions out. Everybody's, you know, going in there with fresh minds, listening to everything. And we're doing, uh, we're hoping to get a good discussion about, you know, what we love, you know, which is one mm-hmm. of the best things about being at Comic Palooza. Yeah. Uh, uh, specifically, uh, Miss uh, Quinn here. Uh, she uh, is, you know, obviously is a big fan and loves to do cosplay. Okay. Actually, just, you know, what was you doing this weekend? Uh, actually, for Free Comic Book Day, uh, me and other, you know, close friends, cosplayers, we all joined at the uh, Marquee, the, mm-hmm. the theater. And, you know, it's it started off as just us, like three, four people, you know, just uniting and trying to, you know, bring people to us and take pictures with kids and everything. And this is my third year doing it. I, I, I actually host it with another friend. Oh, nice. I have the honor to do that. So I cosplayed as Hella. Mm-hmm. And Whoa. it was a last minute cosplay. You know, my husband, he helped me prepare it and Whoa. it was a hit. Not me, I'm single. <laughs> hey. Ladies, seven three eight zero seven one seven nine four. I wish we had a picture of that. The show. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we do. We, we, we uh, yeah. We can figure it out. Maybe we'll we can get it, it up. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get it up. up yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Um, we have we have the show can put on all sorts of pictures. Uh. Got some pugs right now. Well, these pugs. All right, so let me get into this. Kelly, I don't know if you've been around for the pugs. These pugs showed up. Uh, these public access pugs. Showed up. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys do? It's nothing we did. They showed up and uh, they've been chilling. They've been helpful. Did you feed them? No. They they get their own food. They take care of themselves. Like they don't. They're here all the time. They do leave. We think they live here, but they're not here. Like consi- like they're here consistently every Monday, but we're not here any other time of the week. So I don't really know. Yeah. But um, we've been we've been for weeks trying to get people to call in and and claim these pugs. <laughs> Because they're not ours, and we're gone. And I don't know. Yeah, like, who's going to watch after I imagine they're hypoallergenic also. Probably hypo. The, you know, I, I try not to get too close, but the, they do seem hypoallergenic. Um, now, I'm wondering, uh, Rad Toy, uh, my final request. Yes, sir. Because it, we do have to move on, unfortunately. You're welcome to stick around, but sure. we're going to be talking to other people. Would one of you take... Some, if not all, of these public access pugs home and give them a forever home? Oh, sure. I'll tell you what. Uh, not only will we do that, uh, we will set them up with their own G.I. Joes to chew on. Cute. Yeah. Right. We're going to take good care of them. <laughs> That's such a generous offer. This is... Thank you. Yeah. We're not wow. just making stupid comedy. We're, We're saving lives. We're saving lives Look, and doing good are. work. They're gone. And eating G.I. Joes. <laughs> all right. Well... We gotta wrap this up for our, our the first segment. I'm super excited for Birdie Pink to come on and play. So I'm not gonna drag this out because this is the last show and they look like they're ready to go. So without further ado, get off your couches at home and shake your butts to Birdie Pink! <laughs>
If you want to air out a grievance, <laughs> live on the air with anyone on our panel, 713-807-1794. If you get testy and you get rude, we're going to cut you off, but... We've had to do it. We have to. There was that one guy who made that awful joke on uh, about cutting up his chest. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, Hugging people. Weird. That was horrible. That was weird. Yeah, if you're that guy, you want to explain yourself? <laughs> Uh, also, like, uh, not excuse yourself. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. No, but regular viewers, I, I, I always think about uh, the apologies. Was it apologies or regrets? Show where we talked about like the most annoying things we do on air. I don't have any specific recollection of that, but I don't doubt it happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if anyone wants to call and talk about how annoying we are, yeah. You know. Anyway, uh, our next guests are my very favorite people Yay. in the universe. I was going to introduce some more, but they just walked on. They need their introduction. K Rage Unit, assemble. Wait, I want to put this. Stacy, always with taste. Friends, friends in real life and friends of the show. Not my friends, my sisters. Aww. I am, I am a K Rage. Say. I am a K Rage. <laughs> Is that not true? You're what? Oh, you're an honorary K Rage sister. Honorary K Rage sister. Honorary sister. better than yeah. she knows us. She does. As a matter of fact, uh, Stacy's mother. Dream. Stacy and Kay's mother uh, does does have quite, has taken quite a shine to me because of my profession and my personality. I promise you. And your cool play. style. So. Yeah, and my cool style. She actually does. She has on occasion remarked on my style, uh, which is just a habit. We all compliment each other's style. We're all one big we happy do. family. We do. Yeah. I was. Well, we're always like, oh my god, you're so cute. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, so. You were here. You were with me when I bought I, this. Yeah, I was there when you bought the jacket, and I was like, you is that, need is that to a, get that. Is that a Value Village find? It was at, um... Yeah. Yeah, it was at the one over on... Um, Don't tell. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that your secret? secret? It's not a secret. You can secret. find it on Yelp. It's just yeah. that I, I, uh, I'd be like... That's my fertile hunting ground. It's also a, just a store that people go to. I don't own it, and I have no right to keep it a secret. Or do you? I actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. It's happening. Well, so. uh, thank y'all for coming on. All oh, yeah. Times you came on. So you many think? times. Yeah. Whenever Probably like at least 100 times, right? <laughs> like in all these years? Probably. Had yeah. like, well, really. we've done, you know, this is our fourth episode, our eighth season, so we've done 800 episodes, obviously. Uh, to come on an eighth of the time is, is fantastic. I found a DVD today in my room. I'm moving right now. I just moved of uh, a copy of one of our shows from 2015. <laughs> like one of the old DVDs. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. Wow. You need DVDs? Yeah, so we used to give DVDs to Neil's Bar. Blu-rays. Oh. Blu-rays, and they would put them up on one of the TVs. I never knew that. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. cool. You know what was cool? How when you took over Zine Fest and in like the second year of taking over Zine Fest, you moved it to a new, more sensible location, and it was, it exploded, and it was great, and it became, like, this big... <laughs> It, well, um, there was. But we didn't have anything to do with that. No, they, you did. Let it be known, Zfest Houston did not have anything to do with the. It was the chocolate place next door. The chocolate place next door, which burned the printing museum down. But they're open. Oh, no. they're, they're open, open again. Now. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. But it Hands was super cool. Media. Like, it is open. You didn't have to let us film at Zfest. You could have been like, ah, that's weird. But you did, and people enjoyed it. Oh yeah. And that was one of our first projects that people really started to care about and like watch. <laughs> Um, and I still, like, people still at Zine Fest come up to me and are like, did you film that thing those years ago? That was awesome. Yeah. So that has been a huge help to us. Uh, no, we're so grateful for your support throughout all these years and, like, asking us to come on the show and make scenes with you. And, that was you always know. fun. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's very therapeutic. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was always my, my weekly therapy. Get you to come on and like make cool stuff, meet cool people, thumb wrestle someone. Like, we always had a good time. Yeah, we did. Now I don't want to get too too feely wheelies. We gotta. This is our show. We gotta do something weird. Oh. Here like goes. I said, we're popping balloons all hour irregularly. Um, now I could have bought the ones with the confetti in them, and I did not. I'm so glad. That is this a good chance for me to do my baby animal impersonation from the Muppet Babies? Please. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Wait. You need to stand or something. Go oh, bye bye. Oh, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Right? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> well, you know, I have no idea how much time we have or even where Ryan is. No. But, um, She's been like setting the setup behind I us. Kinda, I want to hang out with Ryan. It's the last episode. I want to hang out with Ryan. Why is he running around? <laughs> Ryan, Come sit down. Us. 
Where's, Come sit down. There's a little store right here. Yeah, we well, he was sitting here. No. <laughs> sit down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, make some space. All right, well, uh, carriage unit. We wouldn't just have you on to talk sentimentally crap, because you know I'm not sentimental. I hate it. Not in, I, he's, I, he's, I, he's lying. He's a big wrote, softy. I'm a big yeah. softy, but I also literally wrote a paper in college about the dangers of nostalgia, and that is not. <laughs> that was like, as a German major, you do a lot of bleak, uh, a lot of bleak study. And I was like, you know what? Nostalgia inevitably <laughs> whitewashes and can't and, and sugarcoats some pretty brutal and atrocious things in our history. Even though like pop culture nostalgia seems a little, you know, uh, 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 innocuous, it in fact is like pop culture is obviously used to to rewrite history and change how we shape the culture. So of course it's important. Anyway, are you familiar with Vegemelts? Vegemelts? <laughs> yes. No, not Vegemelts. No. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess not. <laughs> But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we gotta flip the tables here. Seeing as y'all are both chronicle journalists and journalers of experience, you through Zine Fest, Houston, and Kate through. Okay, I flipped the market. table. Now what? Does time go back? Yeah. Oh wait, that was a that was a that was an expression. Sorry. Continue. Oh okay. God. I forgot what I was gonna say. We had experience. Outside, we agreed that you would ask us questions. Is that no? That was Brenda's gonna do that. Uh, what do y'all want to do? That's weird. I don't know. What do y'all want to yeah. do? Yeah. What do y'all want to get? What is K Rage? Y'all have the floor to do whatever. Oh, oh goodness. Say That's whatever. Do y'all have any pieces coming up? Or are y'all participating in anything coming up? Um. Well, what did we do? Oh, well, we actually volunteered together at a conference recently. Yeah. Oh, cool. Which was a very good experience. Um, it's cool. the We Are Girls Conference, um, a conference to empower young girls. Awesome! And yeah. It was at um, Hog Middle School. Yeah. Um, Hog Middle, shout out. Yes, yeah. very cool school. Um, the training was fine. We were told um, <laughs> everyone had tons of fun. It was such an enriching experience, but they also prefaced it with, oh yeah, when the girls come off the buses, you'll be terrified because there's just groups and groups of girls and there's just like, like a couple of volunteers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Waves and waves of children is overwhelming. But, but how cool to reach that large of an audience of young women. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. great. Like, such a cool message. A lot yeah. of cool workshops there too. Yeah. Right. What were some of the like the, the the more interesting workshops that you saw? Um, there was like a what was that Beyonce challenge one? Oh yeah. I don't know what that one was. I don't either. But it looked I think really it was cool. like dancing. Um, yeah. There was African drumming, jewelry making. Um, in my class, we made smoothies and. Um, <laughs> had some empowering messages about um, being yourself and accepting yourself. And they were really cute. They were like third to fifth graders. So yeah, um, they're all really into it, like shouting out the answers. They're, some of them are shy, but others are really into it. So it was really nice to see them. Um, were there any class clowns and jokesters? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Of yes. course. They're always what were, what were the funniest jokes the kids said? Um, oh, well, some of them were just like, would get up and dance. Yeah, so a lot like, of dancing. Like a funny thing. Well, yeah, because like, kids just love yeah. to get up and dance. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the things it's about cute. them. They just spontaneously shake shake their body, wiggle their bodies. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. I actually went to, to um... no, I won't tell that story. <laughs> wow. Wow. That involves wiggling. That's I want to hear about it. <laughs> nah. Not necessarily from Donald. Fair enough. I know. Are they actual marbles? Um... But it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. I do it again. Yeah, that's awesome. And Zinefest might do a workshop with them, so. Yeah. Rad. Wow. If you uh, making connections, making connections, feeling good about ourselves, cause that's an awesome thing oh to do. <laughs> I love when John that makes songs. That should be the new theme song. Well, oh, we don't need a new theme song. <laughs> oh. No, I think our current theme song's pretty bad. Well, and we just don't need a theme song anymore. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. I'm not sad. I'm happy. Not because I'm tired of doing this. Uh, <laughs> wow. yeah. But because I, I've i gotten to do so many awesome things with so many different people. And here to interview me about all that is Brenda. How does that make you feel? You know what? I feel like you. that made me feel like you understood that the premise of popping a balloon every reg irregularly throughout the hour is a terrible idea and is very insensitive. Yeah. So you showed me a nice, friendlier alternative to yeah. popping balloons. Just let the balloons fly around, and then we can reuse the balloons. We don't have to 
to pick up balloon shards and things like that. Did you feel like that balloon? Did, when I did that, did you think I was making a metaphor about you as a person? I think wow. that all the time. Oh. About all the time? Oh. Yes. I, so every time I have a conversation, immediately is like, anyone, he's talking about me. Anyone. <laughs> and to be honest, I think he's covering for the fact that he would have preferred a balloon pop. That's why he speaks so much. Uh. Is that your damn? Um, John, John likes popper. generally like noisy, terrifying things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Doesn't explain why they keep inviting us back. Here, I made you some. <laughs> Here, Ooh, a gift. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a look at it. Oh, God. I thought it was. Oh! Oh, cool. I thought it was uh, going to explode. No. We've got a collar. We've got a collar on here. Collar, you're on the air. Happy birthday! Oh no, wait, that's not right. Oh. Congratulations! <laughs> I just called to say I love you. Ah. Is that copyrighted? Can she do that? Yeah, it's, callers can do whatever they want. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi, caller. Thanks for tuning in. Hello. Hi. Can I say that? <laughs> What's up? Uh, thanks for the invite, friends. I'm a little late to the party. That's okay. Just glad you made it. I'm glad I, I'm here. You know, yep. I'm just never really good with goodbyes, and I just I might get a little choked up. Aww. Well, you know, it. Aww. Hey, caller, what you like? I understand. We all love the show. We love doing it, and uh, but all the good things must come to an end. <clears throat> it, but it's not a bad thing. We're not done. It's just this is the live show is ending because. We we did it every week for four years, and part of keeping the ecosystem HMS uh, alive and healthy is like realizing when you've had your say, you've said everything you need to say, and stepping aside, and making room for other people. And uh, we actually are going to have a show come on after us, so the system works. That's right. When our corpse decomposes, it'll provide nutrients for the le next show. Don't you agree, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have to say, being second time viewer. Second time caller. It was a great run. I, I loved it. All right. Well, Thank I'm glad you. that our sample size is enough to provide you with some consistency. Uh, and I appreciate your calling in. Thank you so much for, for your contributions. Is there any last thing you'd like to say before we cut you off? Yes. Uh, keep popping them balloons, but I'll keep popping them bottles. Alright, um, I'm seeing hints that um, we're ready to move on to music or no? What? I have no idea what's going on. That I'm being told no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Was well, I guess I can stand for more questioning. Um, if you could fertilize anything, what would you fertilize? Oh, I fertilize oh. anything. Well, I, fertilize, I fertilize the Marketing. millions of acres of dead soil we have in the Midwest. It's going to cause a huge food crisis in a few years if we don't actively work against it. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, because we need food. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Does this balloon oh, okay. represent how you feel about the environment? No, it's just a balloon. Although it is made up of a lot of, I don't know, is that biodegradable? Like, we can bring the environment into this. Um, um, is this Act 3? Nah. Okay, well, you know what, Brenda? Yeah, baby. You've, you've been a very strong supporter of the show for about as long as I remember us having a show. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember much past the last four years because my life has been uh, a whirlwind, a blur. Yeah, a symphony. A symphony. Well, certainly. Not. <laughs> I didn't bring this. We didn't bring you on because we're sending a We have a caller. Caller, you're on the air. What do you got for Brenda? Oh my God, Bernie P. Oh my God, we love Bernie P. So much. All right. You finally have Bernie P. They are so incredible. They are. They're rad. Hey, Collar, <laughs> do you have a question for Bernie Pink? Yeah, um, any of y'all single? My girlfriend. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, make a connection. <laughs> uh, Bernie Pink, are any of you single? I am willing to mingle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> definitely Taylor? All right, I'm getting word that Taylor. definitely Taylor is single. <laughs> I am a lesbian, and I just want to <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, Whoa, you can get off, the, you can get off camera now, I think. <laughs> She's not looking for you. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm it loving like all a, the... It sounds like a slumber party call. Yeah, <laughs> is this a slumber party? I love all the giggling. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The next person who's standing next to the caller has to call a boy they think is totally cute and tell him how they totally feel about all sorts of totally real stuff. in the car. They're gonna do it. Okay, we're all right. We're doing it. We're on it. Yeah. Put her on the like phone. Put the phones together. Yeah, put them on speaker. Let us yeah, hear. We want to hear this. <laughs> Let us talk to him. Have them call here. Oh my God. It's even oh, I heard a ring. Oh my God. Hello? <laughs> hey, JC. It's me. <laughs> <Matt> <laughs> from work. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm just at a sleepover, and we, we just love Bernie Pink, and I just wanted to... I'm just so embarrassed. How do you do it? I'm kind of confused. What's going on? Yeah. Tell him how you I just do. wanted to tell you, you're so cute. Yes! Yes! City is with you. Do you feel the same? <laughs> Can they hear us? Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to holler at you, dummy. Give me your phone. Oh, wait, he should call you. people we got to dance in the studio and you could dance at home for the next act by our lovely final musical guys Bernie Pink! Woo! No, it's the last no. guest. You see, to live inside. 
inside of me I just I loved you I was just Just making sound So please Let me have my dreams I just I want to go to sleep And won't you see uh, Living inside me I just Want to back my dreams Thank you. Too kind, too kind. Oh, yeah. Helping us Someone build the set. Take a chair. Take a chair. I think at the end of the show we're just gonna have like a, like a human and object well, cluttered set. We'll finally have the set set up, and then we'll be time to take it down, time. and then you know. And that's one of my favorite parts of the show is breaking it down. Like yeah. Afterwards, it's like ah, oh, we're done. Break it down. This is the last time. Yeah, you should bake everything this time. Yeah, I, I think that is actually the plan. Like, there's got some sledgehammers back there. We're just gonna destroy everything. Dude, I'm so in. Do so drop, in. Mike, drop it. You know. Pick me up, throw me on the wall. Nice. You know, whatever. Yeah. Oh my God. That's <laughs> You guys, speaking speaking of throwing people in the walls, do people ever get crazy at any of your shows? Like, does anything like really wild happen? Can I nah, get some? No, no, all tame. Just yeah, like, can I can I get some like like really crazy story? Like, just pick something that like really stuck out to you. This one time, time our EP release, uh, like within ten seconds, three of our microphones broke, which is all of our microphones, uh, and like one of them. Like, I don't know if you, XLR cables, like, the clip that comes in, that snap, like, somebody destroyed that, and that just makes no sense to me. But yeah. That was pretty brutal. It was, like, just surreal. Like, people just flying into our, like, bodies while it's we still to keep playing. It's been, it's been several times where there's just bodies, like, flung yeah, at us. You accidentally hit a kid. Oh, yeah, in a mosh pit. That's right. <laughs> One of our first times. I like, didn't actually... Like, 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 hit a kid? No, no, no he threw himself into the crowd. Yeah, I jumped into the crowd, and there was this, uh, we were moshing, and there was this, like, four-year-old there, and, uh... Oh, she I, was, I like, thought seven. I hit she her. was, like, seven. seven yeah. I thought I hit, uh, the kid, but I did not. I went back and looked at it, and the kid was like, you didn't, you didn't hurt me. The kid called me wuss, because I felt bad. Cute! Yeah. Yeah. We had a guy that wasn't able to walk afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got hit in the spine and couldn't oh, yeah, walk for, like, ten seconds. Him. And then he didn't go to the doctor for, like, months, because he could walk again later, and I was yeah. just like... 
Like, but it know, ruined the mosh pit because yeah. everybody like took care of him. That was the only time that I've come close to stop playing in the middle of the song because I just saw him die and I was like, oh my god, what happened? There's some dude on the ground, yeah. Yeah, it was it was brutal. It looked really scary. He had to get dragged out, like he couldn't walk out. Anyways. Dang. So yeah, yeah. things get intense. How about uh between y'all? Like do y'all ever get any antics? Do y'all like does anyone want to throw someone else here under the bus really quickly? Like literally? Yeah, no, just I mean you, you can yeah, you can throw anyone <laughs> if you do, in just the, that'll be the that's antics. The, that's just throw it. Like does anyone have like a nasty like an annoying habit or like anything y'all laugh at really like like a whole lot? <laughs> <laughs> she forgets things sometimes. To turn on your amp. You, you play the show. I've also I can, you I can't can, deny that. 30 seconds to, to just kick you in the. We, we both the actually. It's funny because there's our first set ever, I didn't have my amp on for a whole song. And then, like, our second <laughs> set ever, Taylor didn't have her amp on for a whole song. And it was really funny. It was like the exact same thing. And then three microphones at, the, at your, your next EP release. Yeah, 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 for sure. Just so people want to break them, they can just they can throw them on the ground. Do you, do you, just have like a, do you guys have like, a, like an equipment curse? Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. Kind of. I, do. I had one for a really long time. I always had technical difficulties uh, every time I played with the band the first time. Like, yeah. without fail, every time one of my things like broke. So something goes wonky. Yeah, but I have good gear now, so I guess it doesn't happen. Nice. Much. Yeah. That's it's always something. Good, good gear always helps. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah. if you guys were gonna, if you guys were gonna not describe your sound, but kind of talk about your influences, like who would you say would you be your major influences artistically? Ooh, that's a lot. Like as a band or individually? Cause At, uh, in any way, in any, any way you want to answer that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a huge inspiration. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lifting me up, you know, when I'm down and I don't uh, feel good, and uh, helping me get inspired to write the jams movie. Nice. Most of my songs are pretty religious. I like T-Rex a lot. T-Rex is cool too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very cool. Uh, T-Rex and Jesus got it. The Cure for lyrics. You know them a lot. For sure. Uh, I like um, Jack White for guitar solos. That's where I ripped off all of my guitar solo style. Did y'all go to the show or did any of you go I went to, to both shows. Went to both shows. Awesome. Tuesday night was way better. That's what I heard. It was well, like, well, I heard that, um, what was that, Wednesday night was the, was the next show? It was Monday and Tuesday. It was Monday. My girlfriend went Monday and just said that people were on their cell phones the whole time. That's weird because they had, you know, like, I didn't see anybody, but people were ripping them out of the pouch that they made you put them in. So, like, it was great because there's still no people recording because yeah. they didn't want to get their phone stolen. So, that, that's all that mattered to me. But uh, it was good. The second night, it was like, I was sitting next to these people and they were just having full conversations while I was playing music and I'm just, I'm just like, why, why did you pay to be here? Like, just leave, yeah. you know? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. But it was good. You played way better the second night. Like, that said, uh, destroyed. I was thoroughly pleased. If people pull out their phones during our shows, it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're low. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> please, please, we'll get please pull out your phone. Like, no. me on the internet. No, please put <laughs> your phone out. Please expose us. <laughs> Last time we played, somebody laughed at me and recorded me the whole time, so I have mixed feelings. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I you know, I, the, the old adage is uh, any any uh, any coverage is good coverage. That's what I was yeah. thinking. He's yeah. like, at least our video's gonna be out there. Somebody's gonna like it. So uh, that slumber party that called us in. Do y'all have any idea who that might be? No, and I'm you don't, not. You lying. don't have like a gaggle of teenage girls that follow you around. I'm not lying to you. We don't know them. That I swear. Was, <laughs> they are not with us. I hope they're still listening. Maybe they'll call back in. Maybe. Probably. No, I might know them though. Do you want them to? I definitely I, know who they yeah. are. We might. We know every single one of them. <laughs> Connect with them telepathically to yeah. call again. That was easily like one of the coolest things that's happened. I that was all, sweet. Because you guys, <coughs> yeah, well, we were it's, it's a team effort, but we were the love connection. We got a bunch of free tickets at Fleet Foxes tonight. So oh, we're pre yeah, 19 uh, free tickets. Dudes. I'll be at that show. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So there's a gaggle of people pre gaming. And that's who, uh, who gave us a ring. And gaggle. that's who. Uh, the word of the night. Gaggle. I've never heard of the Shay T fellow, though. I hope Abby and, and them start dating. Quick question about Fleet Foxes Is there an opening band? Yeah, yeah. he already oh, played. Okay. Why yeah, didn't I bring like my tickets with me? Ah. Fleet Foxes start at 8.30. <laughs> it's like James Amon. So no matter what, you're going to miss them because it starts at 8.30, I guess. No, nah, you're good, man. I just called somebody. Yeah, well, least. you know, we'll have updates throughout the show. Like 25 minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, but see, you guys, you guys get like the trade off here is that you get like a first hand seat, like right here to like the best show on television. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. You're on it. Yeah. This is Sorry. Right. <laughs> then what are they going to do? Cancel it? <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know our real names. It's okay. We've all, we've all had our slip ups, every single one of us. We've, <laughs> we've, had, some, we've had some squirrely stuff. Uh, speaking of squirrely stuff, any animals? Anyone have any pets? Oh, any? I have lots. Two dogs. Two dogs, two puppies. Well, in our house we have two cats and then two dogs that are about to move in. Oh, tight. Yeah, they got their rent first then. Yeah, they gotta get a job. Do y'all live together? Uh, yeah. At a certain point, some of us have. Yeah. yeah. He's about to move in. Nice. Yeah. All right, well, one last question, you guys, and this one's really goofy, and I've asked this for years. Yeah. Um, what kind of sandwich do you like to think about while you're in the shower? Mm. Ooh, great question. Uh -oh. Egg salad. Nice. Oh, oh yum. Or what? Because of the steam. 
Yeah, not shower. eating it in the shower, just thinking about it. Well, I only think like about a breakfast in the sandwich, meal. like an over easy egg, so the yolk like kind of like gets all nice and moist and the toast, and like some spinach. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Great yeah. answer. Yeah. I don't really think of sandwiches. I just think about like how terrible everything is going in my brain and like cry normally. During the during the shower, that's like the most relaxing. <laughs> that's place. The, that's my meditation moment. You know, that's when I can truly get a release good all of my emotions. Just get a good cry. In. Just fall apart in there. <laughs> so whatever sandwich is close to that, you know, just like total ego death. I think that, I think that'd be like a meatball sub. Okay, cool. I do like meatball <laughs> subs. <laughs> yeah, totally <laughs> meatball sub. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Do you, do you have one right before we wrap up? Uh, peanut butter, always. Just straight peanut butter? Dude. Yeah. No bread, yeah. just, no, just, no, it's, just a spoon. No, 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 no
we can answer between I give all good of us. I financial advice. Oh, and if you yeah. want to call in and talk about how great the band Fish is, you have about five minutes. To not yep. do that. To not. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, you're Vince, really waiting. Vince, come on camera. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, come back on camera. You know, it doesn't even need to be said yeah. that the floor is still lava, so you should not be walking. He's got red pants. I got red lava pants. pants. That's, That's true. Awesome. That's fire I need some of those. Red skirt. We all need some of those. Uh, Vince, of course, is a member of. No, well, we have two members of Frolic yeah. here. Fro you We're absorb in a band. one of ours. We are in a band. <laughs> Frolic! Y'all! The Old House Band! P H R O L I C. That's how you spell Frolic. <laughs> and it's, it's Vince like that. Oh, no. It's a great long time oh. running to be here at the Space City College. Hey, no! So, well, I have to make sure to be here. Yeah, I, I, I have to make sure to ask you because uh, I don't know, I know I'm not the only one who thinks this, but uh, what the hell happened, man? We had you as a house band, you never called, and you just stopped showing up? We kept getting bigger, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we never forgot the little guy. <laughs> and and why, is it, why is it you have footage that you can show to potential bookers? Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, we got who, some great. Who appeared in some of your video promotional material? Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. This guy. So who about. wouldn't be sh no. anything no. without Space City Chronicles? It's a great mutual symbiotic relationship. Just, I, I just wanted people to come on and tell me how great I was. Proxy, today. proxy, proxy. <laughs> well. We are. Any, anybody on the panel want to offer a bit of sage advice or say something important? Yeah, if you go to MockingbirdNetwork.com, yeah. good things could happen. <laughs> MockingbirdNetwork.com. I have a podcast. It's a thing. We have, Always believe in yourself. Mai has a podcast. <laughs> Always believe in yourself. Yes. Very good. Mai What's the podcast? podcast? Being Fest Houston is in November. Fest hey, hey, November. we're talking about my podcast. Mine needs to get the podcast out quicker. Zfest is also on our podcast. And you still haven't said the name of your on... podcast, Mai. Uh, it's called Veer Queer. Yeah, it is. Veer Queer. Awesome. <laughs> um, Chuck, you got anything you want to say to the viewing public? Um, Sage and Theater, there are two events happening that you could go to. One is this Thursday where you may see me doing improv. Um, and another is on the 19th. Look it up, Stage Theater. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he told you when it was. Wait, and in where it was. Is it? You can look figure it, it out. Just show up, Chuck. Is it May nineteen? Uh, yeah. Oh. The Quavo Gold. Oh, it's not happening. Never mind. I don't. Do y'all have a show soon? Is that a movie reference? It's a Steely Dan Steely reference. Yeah. Ooh, that smell. All right, be good to each other. Can I have that balloon? Okay. Yeah, well, thank you, viewers. We love you so much. It's been a pleasure. Oh, ladies Enjoy and gentlemen, our trumpet leader, who's been behind the boards of the show for nine upon four years, minus five or so episodes. Fearless leader and director, oh, without whom oh, none would be possible. Laura is still lava, but I'm Uh, and the camera is pointed lower, so I'll get down here. <laughs> if, if you're a band who's been on the show, I still have your Blu-ray. I'm working on it. Like it'll take a little time, but school's almost over for me, so you'll see yourself on YouTube in six to eight. Yeah, weeks. and I'm gonna get a new computer so I can help out with that. We'll, we are working on. We it. haven't forgotten you. We definitely haven't forgotten you. We love you. If you ever took time out to be on this show or watch the show or say nice things about the show, but all seriousness, we started this four years ago. We met on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. To do, and then the first thing we just started, and first I love you party. so much. Hey, yo. This is crazy. <laughs> four years. Four years. Four years. Nobody say four more years, because I'm not up for that. We're not here forever. Five here more for years. Shut up. <laughs> and also, it's not goodbye. We're going to do some other projects, just not every week in this studio. It's a grind. We want to try other stuff. So. I got I to gotta make sure the youth of America know how to read and be good people. That takes time. I gotta make a wrestling zine. Yeah. We, gotta, we gotta end this now. So, the way we're, we're gonna end this the way we used to do it, the right way to do it. Everyone, get off your butts! The floor is no longer lava, but it's still hot. Let's we did it in one more time for the last time. Burn it,